back to Mystery Meadows, the world where everything I build is decided by a wheel spin. Previously, we built up my mystery house, and today, we're gonna work on the town center. You guys sent me so many amazing build ideas for not just the town center, but for this whole world in general. Do you see these? This place is gonna be so cute. Now, I know last time we did some rough planning with all of these outlines everywhere. But with the ideas you guys gave for the town center, we might have to make this one bigger. From the comments, I've decided to add 12 of your ideas to a wheel spin, but we're only gonna get half. So we'll spin the wheel six times and try to incorporate those six picks in the center of Mystery Meadows. I would include all of them if I could, but that would be like over 100 ideas, and we can always keep the ideas not picked from the wheel for another time. But okay, let's see what the wheel will give me. The first pick is... A town hall. Next, we'll get a flower shop. Cute. Our third spin is going to give us a bakery. The fourth spin is markets. Then we're going to have a fountain. And finally, A library. Okay, so uh, we have to fit <laughs> um, a town hall, a flower shop, a bakery, some markets, a fountain, and a library here. I have an idea. I know last time I mentioned that I didn't want to put a circle of buildings around the town center. That's why I kind of scattered these random ones out a little bit. But because we got four buildings from the wheel spin, what if we added a building to each corner? That could actually be really nice because, well, depending on the size of the buildings I build, we would have enough space between each building on the corners for paths leading to the town center. Directly in the center where this question mark is, I feel like it makes the most sense to put the fountain there. Then around the fountain and in front of the future buildings, we could put the market stalls. It's gonna be great. Now I did look through some of my mods and I picked out what I think is such a cute block for the roads. Look at this. Oh, I know it's simple. I have other colors too. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to use all the blocks from the Twigs mod for, like, this whole world. Because look at how pretty they are! They're so pastel. I love the brick texture. I love that they all have different colored pots. Look at that! For the ground, though, I was between this block and this block. I feel like this one might be a little dark. We'll make a final decision after our buildings are built to kind of see what the vibes are. But I really love this texture. It's like a soft cobblestone. I've also made an executive decision that all of the paths slash roadways are gonna be five blocks wide. I feel like if we did something like this, it could be really pretty. This soft cobble can be the ground, and these light bluish brick slabs could be our sidewalk. Obviously, this is all subject to change depending on how the world looks, but right now, this is what I have planned. Wait, I actually really like this. Now, obviously, as you can see, I kind of like stopped because I don't know how big I want this fountain to be yet. I actually saw someone in the comments specifically say that the fountain should be a pink star fountain. So obviously I love that idea and I'm gonna do it. Just have to pick out the right blocks. Now I mentioned earlier that I love these blocks from the Twigs mod. So we could pick these pink blocks or maybe we could go a bit brighter with the magenta. If we wanted to, we could swap out the base with this brick texture and then save this block for the star itself. <gasps> Wait, unless we can find a pink block that glows, <gasps> the fountain should glow. Do I have a glowing block? Oh, wait, is it, um, what's it called? Frog lights? It's kind of like a pinky purple color. Does this go? It's so bright, you can't even tell the difference, but we could use that. Hold on, let's actually build the fountain first. Is that pretty or is that ugly? I'm really not great at making fountains. I'm not gonna lie. I rarely make them. Um, and I just, I don't know if this is good. I don't know if what I'm doing is good, but it's ha- I'm ruining it. 
Okay, I'm gonna figure this out so that it's not ugly. Uh, and I'll be right back. I feel like this is so much better. Instead of the full blocks I was using for the bottom, I replaced them with some stairs for more detail. I do have these little bits still in the middle, not that they actually do anything, but it looks kind of cute. Then obviously on top of the fountain, we have our glowing star, and I also put a couple glowy bits around it. Now for this path, I think it's maybe going out a bit too far. I think this has to go back by one block. Wait, this looks so cute. It's like an actual town set. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I really like this color combination. Now, I did leave the grass here because I feel like we need some grass in the middle and it would be kind of cute if the market stands were just in these little grassy bits. Before we build any of the market stands though, I kind of want to mark out where the buildings will be. I mean, I know where they'll be. They'll be in the corners, but like, how big will they be? It's time for another wool outline. Okay, so here's what we have so far. This is just a rough outline to kind of get an idea of what these buildings will look like. Would you believe me if I told you they were all the same size? I obviously had to make this town center square area uh, symmetrical, so they're all the same seven by 11 L-shaped building. I did try to mix things up though, so they are different shapes, and I was thinking that this could be the town hall building, this one could be a bakery, this could be the flower shop, and this could be the library. Now that I know what shapes I'm building, we can pick out our colors. Maybe the bakery can have an orange and pink vibe. Then we can do some kind of light blue color palette for the town hall. We obviously need to include some kind of green block for the flower shop. And maybe the library can be blue or purple. Starting with the bakery and actually all these buildings, I think it would be fun if the bottom layer was this like shingle brick texture. So first we'll replace this. And then for these side walls, maybe we can do pink on all the beams and then fill in the walls with white. Okay, wait, why do I kind of like this? I wasn't sure about mixing all these blocks together, but it's actually kind of cute. Well, now that we have the exterior of our bakery sorted, let's work on the town hall. Our town hall is so cute. Look at this. I decided to accent this light blue color with this light gray block and I think it looks really nice. I also made a slight adjustment to the bakery because, um, well, after building this, the bakery looked a little crazy. So instead of having a pink and orange roof, I just made the whole thing pink. But anyway, now that we have these two buildings, I'm gonna go work on the library and the flower shop and then we can do some landscaping and decorate together. We have the flower shop and the library. I originally built the library with like a purpley blue block, but I felt like this grayish light brown kind of block was better because it matches the bookshelves that I have. Now before we get into decorating anything, we have to do some landscaping. There's like holes everywhere that we need to patch and some of our buildings are kind of floating. So let's just go ahead and cover this up and we can pretend like it never existed. 
Okay, now that all of our grass is sorted, it's time for fairy lights. Because this is a town square kind of market area that we still don't have the markets yet, we'll get to that eventually. But because that's the vibe of this area, we obviously have to have lots of fairy lights, banners, and trees. So as you enter the town center, I want there to be a tree on either side of the walkway. I'm hoping to get some big trees, but nothing too big. I was actually gonna use the blue and purple trees from a mod that I have, but those trees are really, really big and I didn't want it to overwhelm the town center. So hopefully we'll get lucky with these regular Minecraft trees. Big tree. Oh, that's a baby tree. Big tree? No. Well, the game hates me. We got like three of these medium sized trees and the rest of them are itty bitty baby trees. This was not my vision or my vibe, but I do have an idea. Because I've whirled at it, we could find a tree in the wild and then just copy and paste it. See, this one's kind of cute, and this one's not too bad either. Though it might be a bit big, but let's give it a try. Oh, this is so much better. We needed the taller trees, literally just so we could do this. Now, besides the fairy lights, I do also want to hang up the banners i just don't know where wait okay never mind just kidding <laughs> i figured it out first we'll add all the fairy lights to the trees and then maybe we can have a few banners from the trees to the buildings just like a little accent i don't know if this is the right spot but just like a little something like this. Now for the market stalls, we're gonna have to keep those a little simple just because we don't have the most space for them, but we do have space. I think because the wheel gave us four buildings, we should have four main markets and then maybe we could have a couple smaller ones. For these markets, I wanna use white fences, walls, stairs, and wool as our base color. And then we can choose light blue, purple, magenta, and pink as our accent colors. There's a pink market by the flower shop, a purple one by the town hall. By the bakery, we have a magenta market and a smaller lime colored market. Then by the library, we have a light blue market and a smaller cyan market. Now for the markets, I know that this one is right by the flower shop, but I still kind of want to put some flowery stuff on it so we can have this pot. Oh, just kidding. We could put that here, <laughs> a potted allium flower. Then we can also have a tulip. And then I was also thinking we could have some of these like pots on display. That's actually pretty cute. By the town hall, I thought it'd be fun to have this market sell paintings. So we've got this painting, we've got this painting, we've got this one. We could put this on display. We could put another painting over here. And then maybe we can pretend that this painting on the easel is being done like right now in the town square. So we could put a little cushion to sit on and then up here we can have our paints and a water cup. Look how cute! I love it. At the market by the bakery we could have a basket of bread and then we can have a regular loaf of bread and some sliced pieces of bread. For this teeny tiny market stand I thought it'd be cute to sell produce. So in the middle we can add a barrel of apples and then we can just like scatter some around. Over by the library market, I wanna add candles. And over here, we can sell fairy jars. Well, now that we have the outside sorted, I think it's time to decorate the inside of these buildings. Starting with the library, we're obviously gonna put books everywhere, but I think it would look cute if we lined this whole wall with some bookshelves and then also put them over the opening. Now, I want it to feel like a cozy kind of bookstore library vibe in here, so we need to find a place for this couch. We could put a place to sit out on this balcony area, so one could go there and one could go there. Then maybe next to it, we could have a stack of books so people can read outside. <gasps> I love this. I also want to put a couch inside the building though. So maybe we can have one under the star window and maybe we could put two over here. Now we're gonna need a place for a checkout. I actually have a register. <gasps> Do you see this? Wait, 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 look. It is! I'm not entirely sure where we could put that unless we move this couch to be more like here and then people would have to walk around the couch to check out 
I know that's kind of weird, but I, I don't know. In between these couches, we obviously have to have a fuzzy carpet. And then maybe over here, we can add more books. That's not bad. I, I do kind of feel like this couch is not gonna work here though. So, um, we're just gonna move everything out another block. Actually, wait, this is backwards too. There we go. <gasps> Ooh, what if we did that? Like little reading nooks. It kind of clips a bit in the block, but it's fine. We pretend we don't see. Oh, I like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got seating in the front, seating over here, and seating up the ladder. The last thing I think we need in here is a table with a lamp for some more cozy vibes and fairy lights. For the flower shop, we have to put flowers in the pots outside. Then I also wanted to use some of these bushier flowers. And now we can work on the inside. I think for this door, I want to put the checkout counter by the front door. So we can have our counter here, our cash register here, and in the rest of the space, we could add a bunch of flowers. Now I don't really have any shelves that would work with this shop, so I think we're just gonna use some slabs for that. On the topic of shelves, I did find these, which are super cute. You can't actually use them though, like you can't put any anything on these shelves, but look, they're flower shelves. Now obviously, because this is a flower shop, we have to add flower fairy lights. Then let's see, I have a lot of potted plants that I wanna put on display. Then we also have vases and bouquets. Maybe we could put the bouquets up front by the counters. Oh, uh, these are a little bit buggy, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna, do, we're not gonna use those. We could just, we can display a bunch of these spring flower bouquets. That's cute. Let's see how tall these are. We have this one. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. Okay, we have this one. We got this one. We got this one. <gasps> Wait, I want more. I love these. The terracotta vase plants. I love this. Now, technically, we could just put some more extra ones on the floor. But we also have these potted plants. So, um, we'll put that one there. Then we have these smaller ones. We've got the teeny tiny baby plant. And then we can also display some hanging plants. So all we need is to pick out a couple of flowers. So how about an orchid, a lily of the valley, and an allium. Then with some bone meal, we can add the flowers to the pots and make them grow. On the floor of the flower shop, we can make some flower carpets. And then in the rest of these open spaces, we can add some flower pots. In the bakery, we can add some seating by the windows. And then because this place has an upstairs, we can also have a place to sit outside. In this open space, it might be nice to have a lounge area so we can have some sofas, some fuzzy carpet, and fairy lights. Now back downstairs, I want to add a counter along this wall with the front counter here. Then because I have this bakery mod, there's a lot of fun stuff we can display. We have a cake display, a wall display, a cupcake display, and a cake stand. I think the cake stand should go here. Then we're gonna have to put our register over here. Or wait, maybe the register can go here and our cake display can go here. Hmm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't super love this wall shelf thing. So maybe we just get rid of that and add a window to bring some more light. That is so cute. And then this was a cupcake sand, right? Oh, it's flat. I thought I thought it might be a 3D item. That's kind of cute, but I also have uh like these muffins and like these are 3D and like really cute. So we could just display those instead. Do you think we could put these cake slices in the cupcake stand? Because I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the cupcake stand was kind of a little cuter. <gasps> we can! Okay, perfect. Let's put strawberry cakes on the bottom and apple pies on top. I feel like we need some more stuff displayed back here. So we can add the pudding, a pumpkin pie. We can have a carrot cake and some chocolate muffins. Because it's still a little dark in here, let's try adding some fairy lights. <gasps> cute! Wait a minute! I forgot that I have this cute cup of coffee. Aw, okay, wait. Let's, let's put that here. Oh my goodness, look at it. Why don't we just make this table bigger? There we go. Now we can have a cake and coffee. Our final building to decorate is the town hall. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what to put in here, but we could 
do like maybe some boring things. I don't know. When I think of a town hall, I just think of like desks and paperwork. I could be wrong, uh, but we do have trophies. I just found all of these, which are kind of cool. So maybe these can be like the town accomplishments or something. I don't know. We've got a lot of wall space in this one, so it could work. Because this building has two entrances, maybe there can be a desk in front of each one. So we could put one desk here, one desk here. Then we'll just add some chairs, maybe some desk lamps. And I wonder if I have any filing cabinets. Hold on. File. No. What about paper? Oh, let's just start by adding a ton of papers everywhere. Like the town hall is behind on their work or something. And there's just like tons of stacks of paper everywhere. And let's see what trophies do we have. There is another trophy, a bee nest trophy. There's a gold cup. A heart trophy. <gasps> Wait, there's even like these ones. These are cool. Okay, let's see. Let's put our cup on top. Then we could put our bee nest here, our portal trophy here. We could put the heart in the middle. And oh, that's so big. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Let's put this here and the skeleton trophy here. <gasps> Cool. Okay, well, because this is like a town hall, it's supposed to be like a bit more of like a, I think like a professional work setting. I'm not gonna do a string of fairy lights, but I will grab the bulbs and make ceiling lights. Well, now that we've added stuff to the town hall building, I'd say that our town center is complete. So now as you walk to the middle of the meadow, you see the beautiful star fountain surrounded by pretty pastel buildings. Outside, we have all of our market stands. Over here, we have the town hall building that you just saw with all of our crazy paperwork and trophies. Over here, we have the bakery with lots of cakes and cozy vibes. Across the way, we have the library. And one of my favorite shops is the flower shop. I just love all the stuff in here. But what do you think? Do we like the town center? Let me know what your favorite part is in the comments below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.